If you're in a large corporate office, a lot of your cabling requirements are already taken care of. You might even have someone on staff who takes all of your cables, runs them under the floor or through the ceiling, punches everything down at everyone's desk. Everything in the facility is already laid out. Everybody has a jack they can plug to right there at their desk. And if anything changes, you have someone right there on staff who can handle anything that might occur. Well, in a small office or home office, you don't have that luxury. There's nobody on staff to handle your cabling requirements. So generally, there's 10 of you in a room. Perhaps you're contracting with someone. You bring in a licensed electrician. Maybe it's someone who's done this type of cabling, this structured cabling for networks before. And you can bring them in just to handle things on a one-off basis. And that means you don't have to keep someone on site, but you're still able to have structured cabling, have everything in one central facility, and be able to handle any of the updates and changes you need because they're able to work right there in the little punch down blocks that you might have. In a home office, it's usually much easier. You don't have structured cabling. You don't have to run cables through walls or over ceilings. Everything is really in the same room. You might want to bring in your cable modem. You might want to plug in your router and then simply run the cables yourself. Grab some Category 5 or Category 6 cables, plug those in, and it's a single run right there in the room. It's usually about five feet or so. You don't have to go far to be able to make that happen. And everything that you're doing with your cable modem, with your router, and these connections are usually also on the networks that are used throughout your home. So if you have other devices that need to use network connectivity, they're usually using the exact same network that you've got set up for your small office and your home office. Wireless is also becoming a popular option for your small office or your home office because there's no cables, no wires. You don't have to bring anyone in to run cables for you. Simply plug in your wireless access point or your wireless router, and now everybody can use the wireless network. And since there are just a few of you or maybe one person in a home office, a wireless network might give you all the bandwidth you might need. The only concern, of course, is that your wireless network is set up to be as secure as possible. And usually you have someone in IT from your corporate office office who's handling setting up everything so that your wireless network can be available to you but still be secure from anybody being able to access your data. In a SOHO, everything tends to be in one room. So the cabling process is relatively straightforward. There's not a lot of build outs. There's not a lot of moving cables through walls or through ceilings because everything goes to one place. It's also very straightforward. You go from the wiring block in the back of the room to a computer in the front of the room. Sometimes there's not even punch downs. There's not even patch panels involved. It's a direct run from your networking equipment directly to your computer, directly to your printer. You don't have to worry about cutting cables and crimping cables. You get a single run. You can purchase your cables already pre-made and simply take that single run and connect it to all your devices. In a larger environment at the corporate office, there might be a lot of changes. You might be hiring a lot of people. A project might get very popular, and then you have to wind things down. And there may be a number of what we call max, moves, adds, and changes. And because those are happening all the time, you have to make sure people's phones are available. You have to make sure that their network connection is plugged into the right place, that they've got the right VLAN configured. All of those moves, adds, and changes cost a lot of money. There's a lot of overhead associated with them. And there's a process in place for handling that. In a SOHO, you don't have that type of change. It's usually one person or it's a small group of people. You come in, sit at your desk. The desks don't move around a lot. There's not a lot of different things going on with network changes. So usually, once you set everything up, everything is exactly the way you might expect. You don't have to worry about a lot of moves, a lot of ads, or a lot of changes. With just a little bit of planning, you can make sure that the cabling you have for your SoHo network is allowing you access to all of your important resources.